Hey, it's Steve here in the Storm Center. A lot to get to with a, a snowmaker on the way for Friday night and Saturday. So let's start you off with the fact that we're going to be dry this evening. And just a heads up, some sprinkles possible in St. Louis Thursday morning, maybe some flakes to the east. It's very light and weak, and it won't have any impacts on the roads as that slides our way. But this is the bigger storm that we're watching. It really hasn't gotten uh, its act together yet. It's developing, but the energy for it is over 2,000 miles away. What's interesting here is it's over the Pacific. So it's gonna move onshore on Thursday, and then that's when weather balloons get to sample the storm. We get better data, better models, and hopefully some more agreement in the path of the storm. Right now, they kinda of agree in the path, coming right up into here, this upper level low into around Oklahoma and Kansas, but then they kinda of diverge, and the path goes either south, that's path two, or path one would be a little more north. Here's the dif dif difference between the two paths that we need to watch. Path one would be more snow, especially for southeastern Missouri, southwestern Illinois into Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. And it could be some heavier snow here if it takes more of this path. And that's very close to St. Louis. Could give us a little bit more snow, but especially south of St. Louis could be really heavier snow here. If it follows the second path though, it's a quick exit on the storm. After some morning snow Saturday, it's out and we're dry. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that path. And that's part of the uncertainties that we see this far out, but we'll nail it down for you. I'll show you hour by hour in the Super Predictor coming up, but let's get through Thursday first. Again, mainly a dry day, slim chance for a little spotty mix, but we're above freezing at 34 at 7 a.m. We'll hit a high of 50, it's partly cloudy, and it's dry. So here's Super Predictor as we watch that snow develop to the north on Friday. Much of Friday's dry, I still think we're getting away with a dry evening commute as well. In fact, you'll see the super predictor push some of that snow in by 8 o'clock. Some of the forecasts hold off till midnight. And the reason is, is there's some dry air that needs to be overcome first. So I think it's kind of late evening, if not overnight, that we're going to start to see the snow move in. I think the bigger impact, bottom line, as far as snowy roads goes, is going to be Saturday morning. Possibly lingering into the afternoon, but it really depends on the path. You see how this is that super predictor model where the path will go farther to the south and it exits quickly. We're dry at five o'clock, but the snow you see south, that could be heavier and farther north if the path is farther north. So it's an early estimate, but here's what we're thinking. One to four in St. Louis. A couple of things to notice in the trends here. Less snow as you go east of St. Louis, higher totals up to the north and northwest. That could nudge its way down a little bit closer to St. Louis too, so we'll watch that. And then this area, southeastern Missouri, southern Illinois, if that path is farther north, these totals are going to change drastically. It's one of the reasons why we say it's an early estimate, but we'll keep you posted. So weather alert day on Saturday. Let's watch for snow in the morning. That path is a little farther north, especially south of St. Louis, could have an impact in the afternoon and evening as well. Sunday dries out, though. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the mid to low 30s over the weekend. And MLK Day is still chilly in the upper 30s, but there's a little bit of a warming trend. Highs in the 40s by Tuesday and Wednesday.